everybody welcome to another little cardinal story time do you remember what word we've been focusing on this month mm -hmm, that's right it's thankful have you found something to be thankful for oh i bet you have but just in case you haven't today's story is going to focus on a secret let's turn to the story now to see if we can figure out what that secret is and maybe along the way, find something that we are already or have become thankful for. The story, The Secret of Saying Thanks by Douglas Wood, illustrated by Greg Shedd. The world is full of secrets, gentle, shy things that some people know and some don't. The best secrets are the ones that make us happy. And the best thing about any secret is sharing it with someone else who wants to know. Perhaps you'd like to know a secret, one of the happiest ones of all. You will surely find it for yourself one day. You'll discover it all on your own, maybe when you least expect it. Do you think you know what the secret is? You might discover the secret at dawn, a morning like all other mornings. The sun climbs over the edge of the earth and begins to fill the world with light and warmth. It touches your cheek with a golden ray and you say softly, simply, thanks. Thank you, sun, for the gift of a new day, for all its choices and challenges, and for all the beauty that it brings. Or sometime, perhaps you'll notice a flower as if for the very first time and thank it and all of its bright brothers and sisters for the grace of their blossoms and the sweetness of their breath, for coloring your path and reminding you how easy it can be to smile. Or you might discover the secret when you find yourself under an old tree and grateful for the cool shade on a hot day. Stay a while beneath its limbs, remembering that there are good and gentle gifts of all trees all over the earth. Forest for, to explore, leaves to sing in the breeze, and roots to hold the earth in place, and simple lessons in how to grow. One long day you may stop to rest upon a rock a silent stone that's been waiting age upon age for someone to come along and just say thank you thank you all stones and rocks and pebbles and hills and mountains thanks for your silence and patience for standing still and not changing in a world so full of noise and speed and change you may find the secret when you hear a bird sing and feel grateful for the gentle music of the skies, for flash of wing and brightness of feathers, for the good company of graceful creatures who dance upon the wind. And perhaps you'll remember to say, to thank all creatures who swim or crawl or creep, or burrow or climb or run, creatures with fur or feathers, horns or hooves or scales or shells, they remind us of the mystery and beauty of all life, and they save us from great loneliness here on our small blue planet, sailing among the stars. And those stars themselves, tiny twinkling beams from far, far away, farther than you can even dream, and give just enough light for dreaming or wishing upon, don't forget to thank them and the soft shining moon, the night sun, that helps us to find our way in the dark. Beneath the moon, the earth's waters are spread with silver lakes and rivers, ponds and puddles and streams and oceans. It is the waters that make uh, the magic of life possible. Perhaps one day taking a cool drink or paddling a canoe or swimming or splashing in the sun, you'll remember to say thanks. Thank you, waters, for sweet drinks, for cool swims, and reflecting sunsets, and for the gift of life itself. Maybe 
you'll first find the secret in your own home, sitting around a table with people you love, giving thanks for good food and the good earth that gave it, for the many hands that prepared it, and for family to share it. Perhaps one day you'll feel the secret when someone is holding your hand, or kissing away tears, or hugging you close, or reading you a story, or tucking you into bed at night, and reminding you to say your prayers. Or it might be in your bedtime prayer itself. As you say thanks for the sun and moon and stars and rocks and trees and flowers and waters and birds and animals and all those who love you and the love you feel for them. Have you figured out the secret? For here it is, if you've not already guessed it. The secret is, the heart that gives thanks is a happy one. For we cannot feel thankful and unhappy at the same time. The more we say thanks, the more we find to be thankful for. And the more we find to be thankful for, the happier we become. We don't, we don't give thanks because we're happy. We are happy because we give thanks. So that was our story. What did you think? Did you enjoy it? What was the secret? The secret is a happy heart is one that gives thanks because you can't be happy with a thankful heart. It's nearly impossible. If you are feeling down or you're just upset, look around you and find something to be thankful for and you'll start to feel your heart fill with happiness because being thankful makes you happy. And once you find one thing you're thankful for, it's going to lead you down a path where you'll find multiple things to give thanks for. And who knows, maybe you'll find a friend along the way who shares the same thanks. Thanks for tuning in today, guys. I am grateful for all of you. Don't forget that we have our gingerbread competition coming up. Here is a little sneak peek of the house. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be able to come by the library, pick up one of these houses, and you get to take it home and decorate it with your family however you want to. When you're finished, you're gonna get to name your house and then turn it back into the library for the competition. We will have all the houses here um, that week in December for voting. So hopefully the weather will be okay for us and we will have actually have the houses inside. So I don't think the weather's gonna be a problem. And we'll make sure when we are doing our judging that we are safe and distanced from each other. So thanks for tuning in again. Um, I will see you guys next week. We will have one more story time before Thanksgiving, and then we will move on to our December theme.